let the function f be defined by f of x is equal to ax to the third plus b, where a and b are constants. If f of zero is equal to two, and f of two is equal to three, which of the following must be true? And they say a is greater than zero, b is greater than zero, a is less than b. So let's look at each of these constraints right over here. So we have f of x is equal to ax to the third plus b. And they say f of zero. So what is f of zero going to be? f of zero, well this whole term is going to be a times zero to the third, so that's just going to be zero. So f of zero is going to be equal to b, which they tell us is equal to two. So we know that b is equal to two. So now we know that f of x is equal to ax to the third plus two. Then they tell us f of two is three. Well, what is f of two? And I'll just switch colors somewhat arbitrarily. f of two now is going to be a times two to the third power plus two. Well, this is going to be equal to eight a plus two. And they tell us, they tell us that that is equal to three. That is equal to three. So we have eight a plus two is equal to three. Now we could solve for a actually. So let's subtract two from both sides and we get eight a is equal to, eight a is equal to one. Divide both sides by eight, a is equal to one eighth. So which of these are true? A is greater than zero, that's true. B is greater than zero, that's true. A is less than B, one eighth is less than two, that's true as well. So all three are true.